Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we have my top 3 glitches on Forza Horizon 3. To think this game's not even been out a year, there have been some pretty mental glitches throughout these months. Now today I'm going to show you my top 3, starting off with number 1, which is the paint glitch on the rims. Like, it's hard to explain, it's like the lip of the rim can be a different colour to the actual rim. So I'm going to show you how you can actually do this glitch. It's quite easy. But at first, it's kind of difficult, but then once you know how to do it, it's very easy. And you can do this to every car in the game as well, so you're not limited to some certain cars. You can do it on any car in the game. But you need to go to Upgrades, and then go to Tires and Rims, then go all the way over to Rim Style, and then go to the furthest one along. And then you just want to keep going right until you come across R. The letter R, there we go. You need to rotiform new rims. Yes, these rims look horrible. I know, they look horrible on this car and on most cars, but wait. So buy them, even though they look disgusting. I don't know why anyone would actually buy it. And then you just need to install it. It doesn't cost a lot. It's costed me nothing because I've done it before on this car to get the thumbnail. You know, I had to be productive last night. So I did that earlier. And now I'll go over to designs and paints and then paint car. This is where you have to listen very closely if you want to do this glitch. Go over to paint and rims. Go over to special colours by pressing RB on your Xbox controller. Then go over to metal flake. And then press Y for flake colour. Go to the bottom where it says brightness and just move the left stick over to the left until it goes to black like that. Now as you can see we've got a green outer rim there. The outside of the rim has stayed green but the inside of the rim has, has gone black, which we want. Now press A there, and now just here, press X on your controller for base colour. Then just go on over to Hue, I think it is, and you'll be able to change the colour of the rims. Look at that, crazy stuff. So you can have any colour, you can have red, you can have pink, and I, I reckon the uh, dark blue that's on the thumbnail of this video, that looks nice. And you can put the brightness all the way up to 1.00, as well and you can mess with the saturation if you want you don't have to have it that bright but yeah it, it looks really nice on certain cars I've also done it on an Alfa Romeo 8C with a matte black design on that car and then blue outer rims but yeah green looks pretty nice you need to get the color combination on point like white on a car this will make the rims stand out a lot more so yeah that is how you do that glitch it's very easy to do the first video I seen on it was a few months ago in March. I'll leave a link down below to that video. But yeah, if we just press A on there, now we have to save to current car. As you can see, the outside of the rim is still that nice blue colour, and it really does stand out with this Lamborghini being white. Now, if you start driving, it will look like the entire rim is blue, and then if you slow down and then stop, it becomes apparent that only the outside of the rim is blue. Now, if we speed up, what speed? About 15 to 20 mile an hour, it'll look like the whole rim is blue. It's mainly because the rims and the wheels are going around that much. You, you can't really see the outside of the rim that clear, so it's just going too fast. So that's why it does that. But, you know, it still works outside, so that's pretty cool. Now, let's move on to the next glitch. There's the Alfa Romeo 8C I did it on. I just thought I'd show you. You probably don't really care, so yeah, let's move on. So for this next glitch, it's in Surface Paradise, you will need a small car like a BMW iSetter. This one's S1 class, so you know, it's pretty quick, it's got some speed about it, this thing. And what this glitch is, is an out of map glitch. It's not that good, but it's one of my favourites because I actually found it, like, I swear I'm one of the first. I was just messing about with glitches in this area because I know Surface Paradise, some of the fences are glitchy and stuff, like where you can go in the river and I was just messing about near the beach and I got out of the map onto the beach which I thought was pretty insane. I made a video about it expecting it to get a load of views but it just didn't. So what you want to do is go to near the car park area find a little gap like this and this isn't the one because there's two posts there like there's two posts it won't work if there's two you need one where there's one and we've crashed into a bench but that's okay because we can carry on driving along the pavement um, yes here it is there's only one post here before there was two posts now we can't we were able to get out a few months ago but like I don't know if it's been patched or something but maybe if we go into reverse that might help yes yes we're out we're out guys see it's so easy now we're onto the beach 
Now, the only problem with this, you have to stay very close to the wall. Otherwise, you just fall off the map. It's not been, like, made right there. Obviously, because you're not meant to go on it. So, most people are, like, don't know how they've not fell through the map, but okay. But you can actually get all the way down to the other end of the beach if you're very careful and use rewind well. Like, you can actually get there. So, this is a very cool, very cool glitch. Because, like, now look what, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Look at this for picture. When it focuses. Bang. Look at my eye setter. Just out. Onto the beach. Now, also, this glitch might be hard at first if you don't know the boundaries. I've done it that many times, but I kind of know where the boundaries are now. Also, where the stairs are, like here sometimes. There's a bit sticking out. Oh, and we fell. There's some bits, like the invisibleness of the wall, like the box, stands out more than you think. It's You think you can go there, but you just can't. You have to move over slowly, like there. But yeah, that's another cool glitch, I thought, because I found it. Kind of, I think, or, or I think I was. But yeah, let's move on to the third glitch. And it's the final glitch as well. Okay, guys, so this next glitch is actually the last glitch of the video. It's the third one, and it's a kind of out of a map glitch, but you're still in the map. You just shouldn't be there, basically. So you need to come over here. Like, I'll just take everything off. There we go, Kiowa Valley. You need to come to that area. Now I've got rid of all, like, the races on the map. You can see it better. But you can't actually drive in all of this water. And the crazy thing about this glitch, which is why it's one of my favourites, is because it's been around for so long and all these updates have happened since and it's still not patched. So the closest point is to fast travel to this little lay by the area there and just head down, down the hill. Well, I'm going backwards for some reason, I don't quite know why, but yeah. You can see there, there's like a road to those islands and yes, you can go to those islands, you're meant to go there. But somewhere along that road, there is a glitch where you just go under the water. It's where this bush is right here. If I go down here right now, I will glitch out. There we go. We're under the water, guys. We've glitched the game. And it's not the first time I've done a video on this glitch before. And it's kind of cool because when you're in a view like that, third person, it's like there's no water. It's just dirt. It's kind of a cool place to go on multiplayer as well. You can actually do some drag races along here, actually. Then if you go to uh, another view, like there, you, you can see you're under the water. Now, if we get a photo of this, it will look so cool. Even in photo mode, it's like you're just on loads of dirt. There we go, under the water, guys. How cool does that look? Can we get a better shot on that? And we crashed out because we went too far to the edge. Which is a thing. So where have we respawned? All the way over here. That's some mad respawning. Now I'll show you what happens if you don't do the glitch right. If you don't like wasting your time and you want to do this glitch straight away, then that is the best possible way just to do it straight away. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting a lot of your time. Because if you don't do it right where that bush is and whoo -hoo, if I didn't use rewind then, I'd have had to respawn. Right. Well, slow down, Tom. Slow down. So if you don't go where that bush is there, like I'm going to go here right now, and we're going to be reset. Reset all the way up here, so like it's like you're meant to do it in a way, because that bush is in the perfect place, but obviously you're not meant to because it's a glitch. Why am I going in now? I'm going in now. Ah, I, I went too far. I, turned, I didn't turn late enough or early enough. I don't know, one of them. Now, when we do go in a glitch, now, I want to get around the other side of those islands, so... In we go. There we go. We're in the glitch now. If I want to get the other side of those islands, I can't cut across because it'll reset me. Hang on. These are those boat things, aren't they? That's where the boats are. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Imagine if this water wasn't here. This would literally be what it looks like. Kind of cool. And we've got a boat right here as well. Don't want to go too far to the edge. And now we are basically the other side. And where that lump is now, here... That is where the road is to those islands. It's kind of cool. So, what happens if you go up here? You just get reset. So guys, those are my favourite three glitches in Forza Horizon 3. They're pretty cool. Some out of the map glitches, what you shouldn't really be able to do. There's a cool rim glitch, which is very, very nice. 
So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're around here, comment any glitches you know, I might try them out, make another video of this. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.